So you have a Rebel V Plus 5G phone. You have an issue where it's constantly rebooting or restarting. Basically, it's in a boot loop. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you out of it right now. Take note that this phone is actually fixed, but let's just pretend we're caught in a boot loop, okay? So it just keeps continuously um, doing, um, continuously stuck in a boot loop. It's constantly restarting, or maybe it restarts like every like few minutes or so, okay? Anyway, I'm gonna give you guys several solutions. We're gonna get you up and running right now, okay? So first thing you wanna do is this. Now let's pretend I'm stuck in a boot loop, okay? We keep seeing the uh, T-Mobile uh, Rebel logo appear, then it shuts off, then it pops up again, then it turns off. Let's just pretend that's going on with my phone now, okay? First thing to do is this. You see the power button here, but I want you to just press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the uh, Rebel logo appear, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and press and hold power button. Ready, one, two, three, press and hold, do not let go. Just keep on holding, just wait. Just wait until you feel it turn off, vibrate, okay? Now wait, just vibrate it. Now there's a logo. Now go ahead and let go and hopefully this will boot up into the login screen, okay? If not, we're gonna go to uh, step number two. Okay, step number two. Okay, again, let's pretend that I'm stuck in a boot loop. First thing is go ahead and you see the power button here. What I wanna do is spam it. Spam it, spam it meaning like press in and out quickly. So sometimes if your power button is stuck or jammed or like loose, it can um, cause a constant rebooting issue as well. So keep spamming it. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and plug it in, give it a little bit of juice. Okay, so make sure it's plugged in. And now we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, so pretend again, it's still, I'm still in a, caught in a boot loop here. Here's the power button, ready? One, two, three. Press and hold this button and do not let go until we see that logo appear. So I'm still holding onto the power button, still holding. Still holding, okay, the screen is off. It vibrated, now I see the logo, now I wanna let go, and hopefully you no longer are stuck in a boot loop. Hopefully after this screen here, it's gonna pop up into the lock of the screen. If you're still down, we're gonna to go to step number three. Step number three, now you can go down and plug your phone, and what I call for this method here is called the tap method, because what we're gonna simply do is we're gonna tap on the phone all over. Now it's possible that something got slightly dislodged somewhere inside the phone, and sometimes a, a couple taps will bring it, bring it back into place and a lot of times when you're tapping it your screen will turn back on automatically as well okay so this is what we're going to do i want you to hold the phone out like this i want to get your two fingers and what i want to do is tap all over the screen like this okay kind of hard keep going and as you're doing this sometimes the screen i mean you, right now you're stuck in a boot loop but sometimes as you're doing this all of a sudden like you'll see the login screen okay everything will be up and running okay so keep tapping like this and same thing on the back of the phone too, okay? These two fingers, and even on around the camera lenses and the, the flashlight, we're gonna keep on tapping all over, okay? Keep on tapping, turn it over, see if you're in the login screen, okay? If you're still, can, still stuck in a boot loop, no problem from here, we're gonna force restart it again, okay? Remember, power button here, power button is here. Press and hold, ready, go. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until we see, until the phone turns black, then you feel it vibrate, and then you see the Rebel logo appear. So I'm still holding onto the power button here, still holding, and vibrate it. There's a the Rebel logo, go ahead and let go, and hopefully this will boot you up into the login screen, you'll be up and running. If not, we're gonna go to the next possible option. So the next thing I have for you, if it's still stuck in a boot loop, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do uh, the massage method. So what you wanna do is hold the phone like this and use your two thumbs, and you want to press in, press in, okay? If you don't want to get the screen dirty, we can just go ahead and use a, a cloth or a rag or a towel or something. So just like this, press in, press in. And sometimes you hear like a little click, and then all of a sudden, like you'll see the login screen, okay? So just keep on going, okay? No problem, you know, you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem, just keep on going all over. Give it a nice massage, turn it over and do the same thing on the back side, okay? Two thumbs, press in, press, press. Even back here, sometimes you hear a little click, and you turn it over, give it a second, and, you'll, and it'll get you into a login screen, okay? So just keep on pressing, okay? Even around the camera lenses, you want to go ahead and kind of press, you know? Press all around the camera lens, all on the side. Give it a nice massage and turn it over. And if you're still stuck in a boot loop, then again, force restart it. Press and hold this power button. Do not let go until the uh, you know the phone turns black and you feel it vibrate and then you see the uh, T-Mobile slash Rebel logo, then you can let go and hopefully you are now out of the boot loop. You're still in it. We're gonna go to the next possible option. The next thing I have for you is what I call the smack method. Why? Because we're gonna go ahead and smack the phone. What I want you to do is hold your hand out like this 
and you, you wanna go ahead and smack the screen and the back. Okay, so we'll start off with the screen here. Pretend my phone here is stuck, still stuck in a boot loop. So hold your palm out like this and we're gonna go ahead and smack the screen. And the same thing on the bottom, okay? Give it a couple, you know, look at the phone. You know, give it a second, see if you get into the login screen or if it's still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. Then we're gonna do with the back side now, the back of the phone, okay? Give a couple whacks. Same thing on the back bottom as well, okay? Give it a couple whacks. And then, okay, you're still stuck in a boot loop, no problem. From here again, remember, force restart it. Press and hold that power button and do not let go until you see the uh, Rebel logo appear. Then you can let go and hopefully uh, that'll bring you up to the login screen. Now, if you're still stuck in the uh, boot loop, then we're gonna go to the next solution. Actually, next possible solution, okay. So anyway, you're still stuck in a boot loop. Now, this is what I want to do next for this, uh, this, le this last step here. I want to grab the phone just like as is. I want you to go to your refrigerator and I want you to put this in your freezer, okay? Put that in your freezer and let it sit there for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, grab your, phone, your cold freezing phone out of the freezer and do the same thing. While it's nice and cold, press and hold this power button and do not let go until you see the uh, T-Mobile or Rebel logo appear. Then let go and hopefully you are up and running. Now, the thing is, if you went through all of these steps and you're still down, don't worry. What I want you to do is this. Start from the very beginning of the video and try every single step, two times, three times. Try it up to seven times. Also, if you have a, a case on here, you may want to take the case off now. And also, if you have a screen protector, uh, you may want to go ahead and pry that off as well. And remember, try every single step at least seven times. Now, if you tried every single step at least seven times, I'm going to say at least 70% of you guys should now have a working phone. So if this worked for you, give me a thumbs up and let us all know which method or combination of methods you think that worked for you. And if it didn't work for you, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. Like I said, we should see a 70% thumbs up. All right. Good luck, guys.